Realtor with the Miramon Group and today we are out in New Braunfels at the Veramendi Master Plan Community. We're going to be touring this beautiful Perry home right behind me. This is kind of a take on modern meets that contemporary, so kind of like a mid-century modern vibe. This is a newer plan that Perry's come out with in the past couple of years. 2,600 square feet. This is a four bedroom, three bath plus an office. You're going to want to check out the inside. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's check it out. So. You can see kind of the landscaping that they did here on the model and this is the model home so it can give you an idea of what your home would look like if you set it up and dressed it to the nines but one thing to note on this property right off the bat is you get the stone you get kind of like some stucco exterior and then this is siding but it also has a lot of stone embedded within it you notice we're already right off the rip these windows just to give it that real mid-century modern vibe to it and then another thing to take note of is the door here look at this super massive doorway got the wood I'm sorry not the wood the uh, glass paneling already embedded into the door and then a little accent window right there resto touches if you haven't realized by now Perry's one of our favorite builders so upon entrance as soon as you come in you'll always notice that Perry's got the tall ceiling it's got some notch and some notch carving out right there and then right off to the left well my left or to the right when you're coming in you get the dedicated study so this is your office indicated by the two double french doors with the glass in it and here's giving you an idea of how you might set it up so if you want to be productive work from home as a lot of us do these days sit down bang out some work just like that and then you got some windows right here to allow some fresh natural light to seep in and clear up some of that brain fog in case you are getting a little bit of fatigue which i know that we all can what you'll notice is you get the the tile that is made to look like wood so this tile you got to take a hammer to bust it if you wanted to change it but you won't want to because it looks beautiful so coming through again still got the tall ceilings this is where your garage would be but it is the model so it's turned into a sales office but you would have the garage right there you follow me a little bit further this right here just your typical coat closet so people over you can have them hang their stuff right there you get to one of the first hallways in the home and you have two bedrooms two of the secondary bedrooms so one of them right here this one they got themed for basketball shout out to nike checks on my feet i don't have my nikes on right now but i am team nike at least at this point in my life ever since adidas dropped kanye you know yeezys were a really cool thing but right now i think nike's got a good thing going on you get a Pretty good sized walk-in closet right here. You got some filing cabinets there, so you can't really walk into it. But when those aren't there, you can definitely take a step forward into it. Some nice taller ceilings there. Look at the door. It's got some design into it. It's not just a flat door. You know what I'm saying? You got a bathroom in between these two secondary bedrooms. So you get the, right here, you get the nice solid countertop. Looks like they went with the white cabinetry on this one. And then you have a full shower right here. And this does have tile work. It's not just acrylic. So it's again, a little bit more sophisticated. Taller ceilings in here. The home just feels big with these taller ceilings. Right now, what we're stepping into is the other secondary bedroom. So this one, they got baseball. So for all my hitters out there, this is what if you want your son to play baseball or daughter softball, whatever they may be. Here's another look at it. Again, these bedrooms are pretty much identical. Again, you still get a walk-in closet on this one too. Perry is known for their excellent building, excellent crafts, craftsmanship on their product. Once you walk into one of these homes, you're gonna to start to realize what I mean by that. Right over here, you actually have the third secondary bedroom kind of tucked away in its own corner of the house, cast away. But check it out, boom. The cool thing about this bedroom, and this is probably for the oldest kid, or you know, if you got a couple kids, they might have to rock, paper, scissors. Usually the oldest kid is gonna get the nicer thing. I know when I was, <clears throat> whoops, I know that when I was a kid, my sister was a little bit older than me, so she always got the bigger bedroom with the more cooler features into it, and that's just how it went. So maybe some of you guys out there can rewrite the script. But this one has its own bathroom in the bedroom. Check that out. Right, so you got your vanity sink here. It looks like they got a cool gray contrast there. This one actually has a shower. It's not a tub. 
This might need to be a little bit. Maybe I'm just too strong. I've been working out too much. Again, you got the towel work. This one actually goes floor to ceiling right here, how they have it in the model, right? Beautiful product. And then right here is your walk-in closet. So again, who doesn't want to have a full bathroom just like that beautiful in their own secondary bedroom? If you have uh, your mom or your parents, your father that are a little bit older and they live with you, that would be a really good in-law suite for them if you wanted to use it that way. Again, on this floor plan, through these French double doors right here, you actually have a dining room or a game room. They have it set up as like a game room in here. Again, air hockey. I could tell you guys all day long that I will run your pockets on a game like air hockey. I'm pretty decent at it, I think. So any takers, let me know. If you buy a house with us, maybe I'll hook you up with one of these and we can play. But yeah, you got your dining room, game room, flex room, loft, whatever you want to call it. You got some options of what you can do with it here. Kind of like these little fixtures that they have hanging. Coming over here, you have the laundry room. Big enough to fit a full-size washer and dryer side by side. It's not gonna be stackable on here. You got some shelving that they built into it, make it look cool and pretty. All fax, printer, no cap for all my younger people out there. Again, just a little linen closet. Now we're making our way to the beefy parts of the home, guys. Check it out. Grand living area and kitchen, living like a bachelor. Check it out. Isn't that beautiful? Right here you have, for all my foodies, this is gonna be your pantry. It's not quite a walk-in, although it's plenty of space to fit all the snacks, trust me, okay? Or all your floor plans for that matter. You're gonna have your cutout for your fridge right here. Nice, big island, solid countertops. You do get some cabinetry actually on the island, which is cool, so if you wanna have some extra storage, it looks like they can fit about four bar stools right there. So you could eat on top of here ample space you got the built-in microwave built-in oven always adds to the design anytime you see built-ins in a home that's just a little bit extra level of attention and detail when it comes to designing i definitely think because not every home does this but i've always been a big fan whenever they do the built-ins uh, so something to like check out when you're looking at homes if you're in a certain price point this might be the extra touch that you might be looking for it's definitely something that i would too you get the nice tall big cabinets in the kitchen Love how these have the glass into them so you can kind of see in them. Gives it a nice little bit more luxury touch to it. Nice backsplash. It's kind of how they have it set up here. So give you an idea of what your kitchen might look like with the backsplash. You can kind of customize those pretty easily. Looks like you get the gas cooktop here. So for all my gas cookers out there, I know that's important to some people. And your dishwasher would be right here. Definitely deep sinks on Perry products. You don't got to worry about a shallow sink because if you're anything like me, you let the dishes compile just a little bit and if it's not deep enough you know somebody could come over and they're gonna see them like mounting up like mount everest right there you don't want that so right here you kind of have like a little nook cut out or if you were going to use that as a game room this is where you could technically call it your dining room but check out these large bay windows all throughout this plan to allow all that natural light to seep into it i've always been a big fan of windows natural light i definitely think that it adds to just the overall tranquility of a property you get right here on this model and probably on the home plan itself when you buy it i don't want to quote that because maybe they have the option to customize it differently but big sliding glass door it's not like a a door with a doorknob where you just walk out and you have a little window on that door you get the panoramic bay windows with the sliding glass some beautiful homes in this neighborhood as you can kind of see peeking out that way I love how in the living room itself, you know, they kind of have this fireplace, which I believe is an upgrade, doesn't come standard. The base price of this home starts at $599, at $599, okay, $599 guys, base plan. So if you wanted something like this, it might cost you a little bit more, but you can get an idea if you were to go with that upgrade, just how beautiful of a touch it can add to this big open floor plan already, you know? So tucked away over here and before we enter into it let's just take a moment of appreciation for this extra window that did not need to be here and it did not need to be this big but they went ahead and put it love that they did that again another way to add some natural light into this corridor and then boom the primary suite where the king and queen lay their head to rest at night as you've heard me say 
big large windows i love that they went with the black i just think like the black windows personally is my favorite just think it adds a touch of elegance to it especially when you got like white walls or just like a white home in general to give it a nice contrast looks like they went with a darker color contrast accent wall on the primary yours won't come like that but you have the option to change it so this will give you an idea of what it would look like if you did super big space of course in here they went ahead and put the tile to continue it. it's not just a carpet right again you get some architecture in the ceiling not just a flat one so right through this barn door this barn sliding door you enter into the oasis that is your primary spa primary bathroom for all my people you get a standalone tub on here they have some tile work around it and it's a big tub like you know i'll fit in there if you're bigger than me you'll definitely fit in there more than likely you get some nice windows right here with the uh, frosted rain design so that way it's opaque and you can't really see directly into it you get his and her sinks in the primary suite so one on this side one on this side plenty of counter space on either one of course right here the own space for the facility so people you could be doing your business and somebody can be in here and you're not going to be mixing scents mixing pheromones you'll be good to go okay and then right across from the tub right here kind of tucked away you can barely see it you get the walk-in shower again look you got tower going floor to ceiling and then they went with like a chevron pattern down there to switch it up on the bottom with tile work all throughout no acrylic in there okay semi-frameless shower door to go along with it and then right through here is going to be your primary closet walk in really long for that designer bag collection for that sneaker collection you already have the shoe rack built in endless possibilities for all of the fashion that is in your passion don't even worry about it I got a little gift waiting for you too from perry okay so Again, guys, if you made it this far, because we are at the end, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. We're out in New Braunfels, switching it up a little bit. This is a little bit further out, not technically San Antonio, but is being swallowed by San Antonio because it is an ever-growing city. But if you want to be kind of out a little bit further away, small town feel, New Braunfels is definitely that vibe. This community has a pool and a bunch of different things going for it. Schools embedded within it. So, hey, guys, if you're interested in purchasing a home, you want to learn more about Baramendi, you need help selling a home, please consider us for your realtor needs. I appreciate you being here. Stay tuned for more tours and we'll check you out on the next one. Peace.